Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. <laughs> like that's ever gonna happen. Oh, Lord. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. So today I'll be playing Resident Evil 8 with just the Lemmy and nothing else. <laughs> I know, so original, right? But what difficulty will I be playing on? Will it be the baby difficulty? Or, oh, I'm sorry, I bet you're the kind of guy to have the bumpers up in bowling difficulty. Since I am indeed the kind of guy to have the bumpers up in bowling, I will be choosing that difficulty. <coughs> Standard difficulty, for anyone who doesn't understand. So let's get my hand sliced off and yell into it. Yeah! I bet you're wondering how and why I ended up fingering their lichen's mouth. So let me recap. You see, after Louisiana, life was hard. The 9 to 5 life was exhausting. Even do the washing, cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll show her. Take this roll. <laughs> no eating before being served. What are you, Aunt May now? Whoa, that's a big bucket of chicken. Honestly, I fucking hate this woman. Did you say something? Uh, uh, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. No. I even asked Chris to put a bullet in her. But Chris, before you leave, how did you punch that boulder? Ethan. No. Of course, I ended up in a car crash. Honestly, my life is just bad luck. Oh, no. I know I can't expect anything from you. Leave me alone, Mia. Jesus Christ. But after heading into the nearest town, it was normal. I seen a couple of crows tied up, blood trails. Hell, I even came across a party. But what happened next was something far worse than the horror story. It was straight up sexual assault. A random guy straight up jammed his fingers in my mouth. <laughs> in trade for the finger sandwich I received, he gave me his weapon. The Nerf gun. I'm joking, it's just for Lemmy. It might as well be a Nerf gun with the damage it does. Fortunately, Karma paid a visit and he him out of there. And that's where I am now. A young man suckling on my fingers. Honestly, do you mind bro? But because I'm on standard difficulty, pretty much the equivalent of having armbands on during swimming, this was easy as heck boy. I mean, I did spend about 12 bullets on him. Wait, 12? Holy cow. Yes, that's right, I should have gone for the head. But not when you have your aim on the stormtrooper. <laughs> Surviving the lichen attack was easy, boy, mainly due to the difficulty, but then I took an arrow to the knee. Yeah! Thankfully, one of the villagers got fed up and distracted them for me. Hey, stop! I came across a hag. I beg your pardon. Then a little snack. Damn, girl. Who's Mia again? Mia who? Mia what? Mia who, what, when, where, and why? So anyway, I'm damned thirsty for some puss, so I decided to help them. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Five minutes later. So yeah, that did not go well. But hey, I'm a half glass full kind of guy, so I see the hag again. I decide to come clean about one of my personal issues. Hey, uh, listen, you seem like a nice old woman, but is this a micro penis? It's not mine, but a friend's. <laughs> Why does everyone laugh? I remember when I first got diagnosed with little dick syndrome. Hey Doc. hey Doc. Hello Mr. Winters, this is Dr. Hunt. No relations to Mike Hunt. This isn't easy to explain, but you got microphallus. No problem. Basically, a baby dick. Could you come in next week so we could run more tests? It might be the smallest one we've ever seen. That was the that was doc. doc. She'll see us next week. Hey now, think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. But do you want to know what isn't funny? Breaking into a castle and meeting Heisenberg. No, not the cool one, but a man-child named Heisenberg. He had the audacity to stamp on a chicken wing in front of me. Oh, he's gonna get it bad. I get shanked, then traded off to be sold for a sex slave. But what came next was humiliating. Unfortunately, my jeans slipped down just enough for the two of them to see my micro pee pee. I wanna see! I know it's small, please. <laughs> but thankfully, only two of them managed to see it. But before more of them could see my micro penis, I dipped. I came across a Thor cosplayer, meet a guy called Wings of Redemption. I'm just joking, it's just good old Duke. And who is Duke? 
In the heart of buttfuck Romania lies the village's biggest, baddest pawn shop. Nobody messes with us here. This is where customers find fast cash, sold, and sometimes lose their minds. But I make sure to sell everything that I don't need. Crystal skull, sold. Shotgun armor, sold. M1897, sold. What the hell is that doing here? Now here's something I haven't seen before. I did upgrade the power on my Lemmy since it's practically a BB gun, but as I walked through the castle doors, my dream came true. Three hot snacks dragged me to their chambers. Oh, wait a minute. No, don't take my jeans off, please. You don't want to see it. It's really cold in here. Let's take a look at him. Wow. Listen, I can explain. Because they peeked at my micro penis, they now know I'm a lost cause. So they do what they did to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Well, this is fun. Yesterday. I will say before you watch, this is graphic. Now with that said, Buckle the fuck up. I really hate to say this. I think there's someone hanging right there. Mm. But breaking out was easy as heck, baby. Yeah! So to get out of this hellhole, I gotta collect four Shrek masks. So I head down to the dungeon, but being down her dungeon with an army of simps was a nightmare. Just kidding, boy. I'm on training wheels difficulty, baby. The only thing I regret is killing all of them. I'm wasting my armor. What can I say? I'm a white guy. Killing people is in my blood. But being down here made me realize this isn't about me being strung up like Jesus Christ because of the size of my lunchbox. But this is what feminism in 2021 looks like. And what makes it worse is because I'm white. Oh no, my bullets don't work on her. So I will pray to Ben Shapiro for facts and logic to shatter her safe space. You're not a man if you think you're a man. Now her safe space is shattered, how many bullets did I waste on this woman? Hmm, let's count. <laughs> 25 bullets I put into her, I found some Coca-Cola, ended up visiting Duke again, so I upgraded my gun, baby. Boom. Rate of fire. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Reload speed, baby. Oh my god. Boom. Ammo capacity, baby. Oh my god, look at this bad boy. But thankfully, Mr. Duke over here had some handgun armor and uh, something else I needed to get. But anyway, he only had 15 bullets for the handgun available to buy. Like, bro, are you fucking serious? My hand is supposed to be held on this difficulty. I fought you, my friend. I put the Coca-Cola bottle back since I don't like Coke. One of the women comes to greet me, but goddamn, there's no windows to pray to Ben Shapiro for facts and logic. So instead, I dipped and played with Shrek statues. But I'm back in the basement, and the simps here were easy as heck, boy. I mean, I killed every single one of them, but to save ammo, I should have just hauled my ass. But my life is full of regret so far. Killing Mia only for her to survive? Regret. Slamming my daughter? The fuck? Yay! Regret. Helping that snack? Regret. Showing that girl my micro penis? Regret. But talking about micro penises, the sight that laid before me nearly cured me of my little dick syndrome. I was spying on this big snack, and as she sat down, I couldn't help but to just stay in amazement. Freeze frame. Enhance. I said enhance, goddammit. Jesus Christ, look at that curvature. It's like a goddamn onion. Just makes me want to cry. But stealing her stuff and opening the door was the easy part. The hard part was having another set of fingers in my mouth. <laughs> but thankfully, she heated me down a shaft, and all I gotta do is pull- the Jugosaurus Rex was easy, as long as you don't look into her, oh my god. Get a hold of yourself, you goddamn simp. But I managed to pick up the first Shrek mask. In order to pick up my next Shrek mask, I have to kill the other daughter. And unfortunately, this is where I break my rule. My goddamn sacred rule. I have to blow this wall open. Otherwise, Ben Shapiro's facts and logic won't be able to penetrate her safe space. While I got my Pokeball, which holds the mighty Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro, I choose you! <laughs> I'm joking everyone, it was just a pipe bomb, and thus my challenge is ruined. So how much armor did I use in this freak? Let's count Logan Paul. So I played piano, can you guess the tune? But then I came across the loss of her daughters. But to summon the great Ben Shapiro, I need to press this lever. Hmm, seems legit. Okay, so how many bullets did this wacko use? So let's count again then, Logan Paul. It was 23. I also pick up my third Shrek mask. But now, I'm opening up the sarcophagus of Ben Shapiro. You didn't miss much. Just me slaying simps and collecting my last Shrek mask and putting them in the correct places. So anyway, I'm opening the tomb of a late 
Ben Shapiro so I can use the ultimate weapon on feminism. The good old reality check. Oh no, one reality check isn't enough. It just angers her even more. Turning feminism of 2021 into what it really is. A disgusting mess. But unfortunately, Logan Paul won't be singing this one since he can't get past 30. So let's get someone else to sing. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little later. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Much later. 21, much, much later. Slaying this big snack was easy since I did accumulate a lot of armor, but this snack cost me 106 bullets. Was it worth it? No. I come across the hag. Hey, uh, just to let you know, that wasn't my penis in the picture, it was a friend's. You know that, right? <laughs> I swear, if anyone else laughs, I'm gonna flip. You know, life in the village isn't that bad when I'm not ignoring phone calls from Mia. Hey baby, I just wanted to send a quick hello and I love you. I'm playing Pokemon Go with Duke. Oh my god, oh my god, Duke. I've legit got a ghastly here. Oh my god. Huh? What's this? Heisenberg tagged me in a tweet. Hmm. Let me just check that out. Don't say another word. This... This is impossible. This just can't be. Now that is it. Nobody makes fun of my micro penis and gets away with it. I'm killing every single one of them. So first, I take out the doll who laughed at me. Since I don't have any weapons during this part, I'll just recap on what I did. I sacrificed a picture of my beloved, watch Shrek movies, get chased by the reincarnation of Shrek's baby, and I stab the doll in the head with a pair of scissors. You know, just a normal day for Ethan Winters. I mean, I did break my rule by using the scissors, but what are you gonna do about it? But now, I get to upgrade my gun. Power. Boom. Yes. Fucking yes. Rate of fire. Boom. Yes. Yes. Oh my fucking god. Look at this bad boy. Reload speed upgraded. Times three. Times four. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at this fucking gun. Ammo capacity. Click. Click. Boom. As soon as I opened the door to kill my next victim, I was greeted by a young man trying to take my jeans off to peek at my micro penis. No, get off me! But killing this big boy was easy. Apparently, hiding up on the roof is this guy's weakness, since he doesn't attack you whilst you're on here. Unfortunately, the next part is where I literally have to put my armor in the trash. I have to shoot these frickin' walls, and it takes up four bullets to bring a wall down. And no, I will not be using my knife to get past these parts. But now, I'm spying on this ugly freak. Ooh, nice. Piece of chicken. Hi, <laughs> Um, just to let you know, it was really cold earlier, and I was nervous. It's usually a lot bigger. Oh, now I'm pissed. But because I have to destroy these walls with my precious armor, any guys I encounter from here on out, I'm bailing. Get in the board key, bail. But the only person I won't bail on is Chris. Chris, please. Why and how did you punch that boulder? Leave it alone, Ethan. You are out of your depth. Chris, please. Unfortunately, the ugly guy interrupted our talks, but now I'm fighting him. And how did I get here? I hear you demand. Well, honestly, there's not much to explain. I just ran around pressing switches and hoping for the best. But thankfully, there's no enemies here. So I managed to accumulate all this armor. 33, 48, 63, 78, 93. Oh, this guy's gonna get wrecked. Since I'm using the Lemmy on this guy. Oh. I'm sorry, a fucking water pistol. Because the damage output is practically the same. Most of the time, I was tickling him rather than damaging him. So what do I do? Do I just continue to tickle him to death? No, I will not. Fortunately, there's a ton of handgun armor here, but the one thing I love, I must destroy. The last bucket of Colonel's Kentucky Fried Chicken. No more chicken for you. I'm sorry, Colonel. What you say? I'm just joking everyone, it was the red barrels. The three red barrels were my saving grace during this segment. Even though I'm on standard difficulty, the amount of armor you get given is a lot. But since I'm using the Lemmy, the armor seems to run out a lot faster. My Lemmy was upgraded as much as possible, but yet I still used 93 bullets on this guy. But what happened next was heartbreaking. I was combining a key so I can kill Heisenberg, but then Heisenberg started laughing through the TV and showing my nudes. <laughs> Even on the way to him, he was taunting me. <laughs> I'm okay, everyone. It doesn't hurt me at all. Ah, oh, that's better. So this puss is gonna get some. And how do I defeat this beta bitch with mommy issues? Well, the plan is to storm the gates. But how do you defeat the never-ending horde of lichens? Well, that's easy, little one. You put your left foot in front of your right foot and hold that piece of ass, baby. Honestly, I didn't waste not one single bullet. I need all I can for the last two bosses. So you pull the two levers and bail. You zipline your ass up there. But what about the armored lichen and his boys in front of the door. Well, that's a great question, little one, because I had a big brain moment. There was a KFC bucket, I apologized to the colonel, and boom. What you say? Okay, that was obviously a red barrel. But what about Urias? Urias? 
The guy with the hammer. Wow, what another great question. Because this bag of milk was easy as heck, baby. Honestly, this guy was a bit on the slow side. You can clearly tell he sat in the short yellow bus when he was younger. Stop staring into my soul, goddammit. But much like any onions, you gotta watch out for their strength. 115 bullets I dropped on this guy. But now I'm here. Heisenberg staring down the barrel of my gun. Why don't I just pull the trigger and get this over with? You see, it wasn't simple as that. Before all this craziness happened, I was supposed to kill him. But then as I peel back the curtain, he was opening up a goddamn water park. So what do I do? Do I pull the trigger and end this nightmare of everyone knowing my micro penis? How could I? There were so many people having fun down there. Shut your fucking hole! So of course, I agreed and went down the water slide, baby. But he lied to me. It was a garbage shoot. Motherfucker. Collecting the items and getting out of here was easy, boy. Majority of the enemies you can straight up avoid or crush them. Thank you, beautiful machines. You saved me a lot of armor. But what if you can't avoid them or crush them? Well, that is yet another great question. It's called blocking and getting your white ass out of there. Big guys, block. Little guys, block. The only one you can't block is this big guy. But much like onions from earlier, he is also a little on the slow side. Yeah! I spent 66 bullets on this guy. But unfortunately, I'm not the only one who got tricked into this water park. Chris, please, explain the bow of the puncher. Ah, I told you to leave it alone, Ethan! Just please, Chris, I need an explanation for Resident Evil 5. Alright, Ethan. Alright. I guess I owe you an explanation. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Uh, Chris? Keep looking. Holy shit! Fighting Heisenberg was easy as heck, baby. But aren't you breaking your rule? Yes, I guess I am, little one. But I've broken it twice already, so who cares at this point? So after I yeeted out, how much bullets did I use? It was 37. Now there's only one left. Huh? Duke sent me a text. Jesus Christ, there's a wormple nearby. Wait, is that a baby? I hate babies! Take this! Oh, it's a crow. But now it's Mia. But now it's Shrek. But now it's CJ. But now it's Shrek. But now it's Mother Miranda. Bullets don't work on her. Ben Shapiro don't work on her. But what she did next was heartbreaking. She straight up yeeted my phone off me. No! My progress on Pokemon Go. You wouldn't dare. That's too much heartbreak for one day. So I die. But now I'm Chris Redfield. Looking at a suitable donor to carry on the Redfield bloodline. Ethan was my only chance to impregnate Clay. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. But since I don't have a Lemmy here, I'll just straight up skip this part. Honestly, you're not missing much. Hey Alpha, this. Looks like I found my next donor. I got you now, Leon, you son of a bitch. But I'm back to being Ethan. And you know, Duke is a true friend. He picked me up and even gave me a brand new phone for my Pokemon Go. <sighs> yes. Enough of that, because it's a fight of my life. Mother Miranda. And I bet you're thinking, whoa, that's a lot of armor, Davis313. But how much armor did I spend on this broad? I bet you're thinking, hmm, you got 160 something bullets. That should easily cover it. Well, you're wrong, okay? You're wrong. The fight itself is lackluster, probably due to the difficulty. But then again, I did die. How embarrassing. But towards the end of the fight, I ran out of bullets. But since I'm on standard difficulty, Basically, the equivalent of getting your hand held whilst crossing the road, even though I died. The game gave me armor. Every time I run out, or Nia running out, boom, armor. Why, thank you, Resident Evil. I love you. But the total amount of armor I spent on this freak was 326 bullets. Jesus Christ. And that's the end of the game. I mean, I do get carried out. You know, Chris, I can't wait to go home and play some Pokemon Go. Mia's waiting for you. Wait, what? Mia's waiting for me? Fuck that. And that's really the end of the video. So, can you beat Resident Evil Village with just the Lemmy and nothing else? No, you can't. So if you like the video and you want to see some more cringy and funny content, then like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how much you hate Mia and how much you want to taste this snack. And I'll see you in the next one. Trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush.